Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him glory, give him honor, give him praise. If you don't know, let me tell you what my title is. And I need, I need to go ahead and do a disclaimer. If y'all knew, I mean, I've told y'all most of my past, so most of you should know that I was a heathen among heathens, honey. But here's the deal. When you have lived that life, you see game coming a mile away. Now, I want y'all to take that experience and also with wisdom and discernment and the anointing. <sighs> Let me slow it down. You can't get nothing over a child of God. Because even if we miss it, hear me clearly. Even if we miss it, God will wake us up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and say, watch this. God is real. Mm, hallelujah. God is real. I'm going to have to walk this thing out, so bear with me. Let me go ahead and get my title. God bless. Nice to see you guys again. All right, let me walk this thing out. Kanye West being used to usher in the one world religion. I knew it was something. I knew, and I don't just go off of what nobody else say. I asked God, show me the whole picture. I knew it was something because he just come out of nowhere. Y'all know. I guess, hey, that's why they had um had him clone, chip, whatever the case may be. Because um, I'm going to ask y'all a couple of questions here. The church has become friends with the world. So let me go biblically first. Oh, yeah, we're going to do this thing the right way. That way nobody can say, well, um, mm -hmm. that's, thank you, Lord. I'm going to tell you what God told me. He said, Deanna, you know how we're going to beat the enemy? He said, you're going to beat the enemy with the word of God like I did. So I'm going straight word first. Okay. The first thing I want you to know is, and I'm coming out of Colossians, okay? Okay. Third chapter. Verse six says, for what things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Praise God, praise God. I'm going to read some scriptures to y'all. Hold on. So think about it. For the things sake, the wrath of God coming on the children of disobedience. Okay. That's for y'all all that think that you, you know, you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to get nothing back to you by disobeying God. Let me continue. Let me Colossians this again. Verse 25, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he had done. And there is no respect of persons. That's me, you, whomever. Okay, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. All right, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm coming. Don't worry. I am coming. Praise God. Now, this is um, Colossians 4 and 4. Ye adulterous. And your adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world, I want you to really listen to this one, is enemy with God. Therefore, whoever will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. I'm going to say that again. The enemy of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. There is no way you can refute scripture. You cannot be friends with the world and roll with God. And I'm so tired of all these pastors that do it. First of all, if y'all don't understand, so I'm, I'm going to ask y'all some questions. That's what God told me. I got to do this thing the way he said. Okay, so y'all said Kanye saved. Okay, okay. We're going to do a, a save test. I'm going to call it a save test. Have you ever, who, first of all, I want to know the pastor, the pastor who he went to. Did he say the sinner's prayer? Did you, everybody here, anybody have a recording that he said, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I confess my sins. I believe that he um, died, rose again, sits at the right hand of the Father. Come on, somebody, because you know you have to say that, right? The sinner's prayer, confession. All right. What God is he referring to? Is it the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Because you know they got the little G, the little bit of G, the little, the little word. Yeah, y'all get it, huh? Until there's a manifestation. Hallelujah. When you really have the Spirit of God. There's a spirit of God. I just said something because the Bible says that there's an indwelling. Oh, let me, let me walk this thing. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. Let me tell you something. Oh, I, I got to walk this thing. I'm not going to like this. I couldn't understand. I said, God, how is people being so deceived? He said, Deanna, because I said in my scripture that even in the last days, that even the elect should be fooled. You have to do the spiritual test. I don't care if it was me. I don't care who it is. That means, guess what? A am I, you have to test the spirit by the spirit. And what am I saying? Listening to this, whatever this is, because it ain't Kanye. All right. I think it's just a clone straight up. There is no significance. There is no spirit. There's a spewing. And God told me to tell y'all, 
most of you do not have wisdom and discernment. And I'm going here because soon as somebody say God, you're like, oh, they love God. Which God? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I even ask my friends, which God are you talking about? Because I want to hear Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because they got so many gods that, that they serve the little G's. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you those questions that God told me to tell you. God said, you got to do the spiritual test. He said, because here's the deal. And I'm telling you what thus saith the Lord. He said, Deanna, in these last days, there will be deceivers. Oh, Lord, he want me to go scripture. I got to go scripture. I got to go scripture. He's not playing. He's not playing. He's not playing. He's making me go scripture. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let me do what he's saying. That's, that's how I'm going to do it. Okay. So this is what he told me to do. He says, um, and this is, okay, the new English. He says, I, I'm reading a new English version. He says, and no wonder, Corinthians, and no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. He's been doing this since the beginning of time. As a matter of fact, I'm about to walk this thing out. Why do you think the churches not have power? Because you got warlocks and witches masquerading as preachers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. On Facebook, crook book, all the books. Why do y'all think? Hello. Let me tell you something. I got to walk this thing out. Let me slow down. You don't think that it was peculiar that God went outside the church to get 12 disciples? You better catch what I just said. You don't think that it was peculiar that God went out, Jesus went outside the church to get 12 disciples. And I'm going to tell you why. Because back then it was Pharisees and Sadducees church. All of them together doing their little crooking and stuffing. The same thing they're doing today. And I'm going to walk this thing out. You guys, I come from under some powerful names. And when I had to leave from under them, I felt some kind of way. And I, I'm going to be very transparent because y'all need that. I was like, God, well, ain't nobody going to know me like them. And, ain't, and I never forget what God told me. God said, Daniel, you're not going you're not going in the way that they're going. And what hurt me is that I had to watch them because my spiritual eyes is really open. And to be honest with you, what hurt me the most is I found out they were all doing stuff. They ain't had no business. I ain't going to name them names today. Big names hurt me. I cried. I said, God, I, I, I almost left the church. I was like, this what we doing? This what we do? If y'all knew how many of them have extramarital affairs, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not lying on nobody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand. I just read to where if we do wrong, say wrong things, God, everybody gets it. Me too. I've seen stuff that I can't explain to you top preachers being gay and yet still being married and the wife don't say nothing because she likes that lifestyle y'all ain't ready for me that money make people do strange things for some change y'all think it's a game they know they know what's going on and they're too scared because here's the deal the only way i can be apostle deanna dixon and it ain't about a title it's about being a servant is i gotta spend time with god because this stuff no 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 the gospel of Jesus Christ. They didn't like him. They ain't going to like us. So you got to have the power of God and able to teach like this. John the Baptist said it. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. You can't do this on your own. Flesh can't do this. Flesh can't do this. And neither can you discern in the flesh. And most of you are born flesh. Now I got to tell you what God said. Like I said, y'all not going to like this. You know what God said? God said the reason why a lot of y'all roll with people is because they got money. Oh, hallelujah, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all on roll with the ones that's anointed because, you know, they see you. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You see, when you're doing wrong, you like to hide. But you see, when somebody anointed, they come in, it's like a light, and they, they just, all they got to do is scan it. And, uh -huh. I'm not talking about judging you like that. Although we do judge good and evil. Don't lie. Stop lying. Now, when God say that we're not supposed to judge, you know what that means? We don't know who going to heaven or hell. But we are commanded. We are mandated. As even in the Bible, did you know that we should judge angels? How much more are you? Y'all better get it together. And just because somebody got money or a famous name, oh, they, they love God. Huh? Don't y'all know that this is a trick of the enemy? This is the highest form of witchcraft. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm walk that thing out. I never understood since a little girl I've been singing. I love to sing. I love to worship. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I love to worship. God said that they are worshiping Satan. Who was Satan? Satan was the choir director. Y'all don't understand. Y'all still laying two and two is four all day long. Y'all don't understand what's happening here? Y'all don't understand? L let me go deeper. What do you feel when you listen to their music? Hmm? Do you know? Let me tell you something, and, and don't play with me. Because I, I, I don't want to call this young lady out. But this woman can sing. 
one of the top gospels. Y'all, y'all gonna feel it in the spirit because I don't feel like calling her name. I don't wanna do that. I still can't listen to her music. And that girl can sing. Her spirit still ain't right. So I, I cringe when I listen to it. As a matter of fact, there's somebody here. I live in Augusta, can sing. I can't listen to them long because you're doing some strange thing. Y'all ain't ready for me. A trained ear in worship, hallelujah, will have you understanding everything because that's called wisdom and discernment. Hallelujah. I'm telling what God say. Don't you understand they're trying to taint you? Oh, Lord. I got to go back to scripture. He, it, I got them all ready. Don't worry. He, I got to keep going back to scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear you, God. He says in Revelation, he said, Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and ye that dwell in them. He said, Woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea. For the de- Notice he said of the sea, For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Can I tell you what's getting ready to go down? New world order. And they just getting everybody. They're they doing it with fear. That's why they're killing people, executing people. So now you got people walking in fear. So now they're saying, now we got to convert them so that they believe everything when new, new martial law and new world order come. These are hits. Because guess what? They want that gun law to drop. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this thing. I'm telling you what God say. And when that gun law dropped... Martial law going to drop right after it. Y'all not ready. But I'm going to tell you what thus said the law. He said, get ready. He said, get ready. God is getting ready to allow it. I don't care how much you pray. You can give a million dollars to the church. You can do whatever. I'm telling you what's getting ready to go down. They ushering in the Antichrist and the New World Order. That's what you see. That's what you see. I'm trying to tell you. If you ever want to test the spirit by the spirit, then that's what you do. They confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And to be honest with you, they praise Jesus Christ and they say it. He is my Lord and my Savior. Have you ever heard him say that? Y'all lying. You haven't. You haven't. And you're not going to. Now, they don't mind saying Jesus Christ, but they cannot say Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all don't understand. People can sell their soul. They do it every day for money. God said, be careful in this last hour. He said, because even the elect would be fooled. Stay in your word, fast, pray, said the Lord. Don't go with the masses because he said, broad is the way of destruction. Y'all better understand what's happening here. He said, but narrow is the path for those that shall serve me. They didn't like Jesus Christ then. They don't like Jesus Christ now. This is annihilation. They want to destroy the church. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? That's what they're doing. They're destroying the church because they want the one world order. And they will have it, God says. Oh, come on, somebody. He's letting them. But don't worry because we went in the end. Y'all don't understand. He said, Pharaoh, I made you for this day. I made you to destroy you. Hallelujah. Y'all, I just read it to y'all. The devil has but a short time and he's having great wrath. Hallelujah. He hates Jesus and his followers. Y'all better understand what's going on here. Hallelujah. Ooh, so God says, protect yourself. He's trying to taint you. He's trying to taint everybody in this last hour. This is for your soul. This is the war for your souls. Oh, come on, something. Children of God, I'm telling you what God say. Test the spirit by the spirit. I keep hearing that. And thank you, Lord. He said, ask him. Hallelujah. He said, ask ask me and I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll wake you up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and let you know. Hallelujah. The spirit of God is real. The power of God is real. The fire of God is real. The presence of God. Hallelujah. That's the last question. Do you honestly feel the presence of God? Mm-hmm. If there's no presence, there's no God. I don't care if it was me. Hallelujah to his name. All right. Ooh, that's all I want to get up here and say. I had to say what God said to say. I know they don't like me. Well, you're being judgmental. You're being whatever. I'm going to say what God says to say. Hallelujah. Y'all better stand for something because you'll fall for anything. Hallelujah. Roll our soldiers for this is who we are. God bless. We are the end time army of the living God. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. God bless. They don't want it. My, my um, life to end. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They don't like me on this subject, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to disconnect. And um, they, y'all know. <laughs> I 
Oh, but you a liar, you see. He don't like this one, you guys. I'm trying to end it, and I can't even end it. Oh, my God. Look what they saying. The devil is a liar. I need y'all to just start praying, because that's all God told me to say. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless y'all.